Yo, hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. Very happy to be here on this Sunday afternoon. Hope you're having a nice one. Hey there, Morvins. What's up, John Joviak, Pojo Dan, Thor, Kenya? Hey there, Great Rain. Uh, sub on, good to see us. Sykes, Wander in the Dark, Casually Challenged, Heavy, Opnul, Hobbs the Tiger, K Mod 9, Armetheus, Funky, Gornella, Tharson, Quaintly Quirky, and all the other cool early people. Sub defamatory. That's the combo right there. That's me yelling at S'more right there. That's me. Listen here, son. All right, we're going to start with... um. What did we play yesterday? We didn't play a Reaper run uh, last time we played here. Let's go. Been on a little break from backpack battles for uh, various reasons. Mainly uh, Slice and Dice and just enjoying a lot of other games right now. The good thing this game is not going anywhere. Alright, this is a pretty sick store. But yeah, we do want this. But I mean... Are you kidding right now? I'm gonna go ahead and put the coal inside the... The broom, too. Let's give ourselves a chance. One weapon's definitely not ideal, but it's a pretty good bag nonetheless. Having even, even just the two regeneration... Uh, significantly increases our survivability. Hmm, I'm definitely leaning towards Pan. Here's also potential spike shield, which is interesting. No inventory space, though. I feel like right now, um, uh, most of the backpack battles I've watched recently, uh, a lot of a lot of Excalibur and a lot of poison builds on Reaper. So let's just do something a little bit different here. We can make a shovel this round, which is not not untempting. I don't know. Does that work if I go broom shovel? I'm gonna hit him with the double broom right here. So, Double Broom's cool, because it's quick, and it's also cool because it can cause a lot of blind. Alright, so definitely a weird bag. Let's roll it here. On sale for two? Oh, man. Alright, I'm still going to let this ride, which is definitely a weird bag right now. I mean, I kind of like this armor as well, but it's like... How deep down the rabbit hole are we going here? I already have 8 inventory spaces there, so I'm going to go hit 14 inventory spaces reserved. I don't know, that's a little intense. You know, I think selling Amanita here is just crazy enough to work. We are unfortunately not ready for Spike Shield. Like, I can't drop the banana here at 1.4 stamina. That's going to be a disaster. Unless. Honestly, I'm going to send it here. Let's go. Weird bag, man. If we survive here, it'll 100% be because of blind and the shield. One hundred. Okay. I am generally unopposed to blueberry in a reaper bag because it procs very fast here, but uh, we really need inventory space badly. Let's try for it. Didn't hit. Try again. Okay.
You can move the shield in this way. Triple broom is definitely an idea. No, I don't disagree. Triple triple broom max stamina. Almost bad manners. Yeah. Yeah, I think just health potion right here sounds really good. I would love to pick up this little piggly wiggly and just just pet it until it wiggles its piggles right here. Until it did that, I'd love to do that. But we're gonna go standardize here. We're already kind of off um, off normal build, so uh, let's give ourselves the best statistics per round rather than trying to do some kind of economy. I got plenty of builds I can do economy on. Oh, I reserved the pig. It's almost like I knew. Uh-oh. Well, we can buy it with no downside. Uh, another banana does sound good. I need inventory space, though. Oh my god, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Let's pluck this in right here. So we're definitely two spaces off of getting this armor. This has been just perpetual here. Uh, almost feels uh, mismanaged, if I don't say so myself. Let's just redo this real quick. I'm not opposed to getting the brooms inside of the coffin. A little bit slow right now, though. Okay, let's uh, put these in this compartment here. That'll make a little more sense. Okay, so shield goes on the edge here with the piggy behind for now. Yeah, only in the banana in the one speed bag this way. It's probably okay. Let's roll again. Oh, more armor. That's the one. One time, please. Okay, that's going to do it. Yeah, okay. Yo, Sunbro68, thanks for an awesome year. Appreciate that 12 months. Weird Bagman, indeed. Hasdell Knight, thanks for that Prime sub as well. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying enough to even consider. My build definitely has problems right now, and that's okay. This is not even a weapons bag, so uh, not injured by or blind. Man, just making Mana Potion right now is kind of tempting. You know what? I'm going to unlock this armor, which definitely means that locking that was a mistake. And that's okay. Let's uh, let's wait on making it Mana Potion. We can do that after we get a, a Mana Weapon, potentially. Also rotate the banana again and put the blueberry inside the coffin. That's the one. All right, good luck to me. Yo, to champion 140, thanks for 39 months. Cheers. Oh, they're going maximum on income here. Good for them. 
Food is really good in a pyro bag. Because it benefits from heat. Alright, looks like we're going to persevere. Indeed. Bless. Alright, let's just throw caution to the wind here. Get exactly what we need. No problem. There's got to be a better way to do this. No, we really want that shield in the bag. Let's leave it like this for right now. Spears worth considering, I suppose. I don't know. I think we gotta go into like a. Um... I'm honestly not sure. Some. <laughs> Double armor, triple carrot, or regeneration. Okay. So I'm unable to poison. Uh, this kind of a counter to a ranger bag, honestly. That is a high quality goobs. Let's go. Dude, where's my weapons, man? Okay, here's mono orb, so we can get um. We can get this made here. I'm gonna sell the coal. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna redo the bag. With Goobert in mind, of course. three spots, huh? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Let's try it again. Okay, let's start like this. This would make a very decent goob side. Now you're thinking with goobs? Hell yeah. There's no way. Why is life so hard? Okay, so the problem I'm getting into is I keep trying to get um, the shield maximized in the coffin. If we just go like this, our life's going to get a lot simpler. So let's go like that. Put blueberry here. Cool. I think what's going to happen here is we're not going to get both. Just how it is. Uh, I think conceding that one side of goob is just a shield is a very smart concession to make. These are set up backwards, but I gotta get the creation made this time. What if we just flip this over, though? 
Yeah, then the uh, potion that goes off second can be on top. All right, it's Piggly Wiggly time. Last round for Piggly Wiggly. Oh, Thorn seems like an improvement, too. I'm going to lock both these. I don't know about this bag, dude. Been a fun run, though. Oh, no, my Goobert's upside down. His natural habitat. That was a pretty nice bag you got there. I mean, it's hard for me to imagine defeating this bag with the one broom. Or certainly under weapon, but I think this bag is in range to have a turnaround. All right, subclass round here. So it's going to gain damage every time it hits when we have mana, which is going to happen. I kind of think this is Cauldron here. Um, I would say Cauldron's one of the harder builds to pull off uh, currently, but... You know, it looks interesting. $3 flute. Get Piggy out of here. Okay, every four seconds, heal for 10 or gain three mana or gain two heat. Triggers 15 faster for each food or potion. Shop entered upgrade adjacent potion. Got him. Okay, I think the uh, cauldron could be next to Goober here. Now you're thinking with Goobs. I guess since Goob's not a not a potion, it's actually not true. We're gonna move it down here. Okay, we can turn it upside down. That kind of works. I kind of want to reconfigure the bag with um, the cauldron in mind just to see it. So Cauldron's here, and then Banana's here, Goobert's here then. Okay, and then we have a Banana here. Okay, so this is going to upgrade the mana potion this round. Cool. I mean, this is, um, it's inoffensive. Not bad. I gotta let this slide by. I need an inventory space. If I get one more inventory space, everything starts making sense. And there's a weapon I want for sure. Plus for two and two. That does get us to seven. 
All right, I'm going to sell these two, and we're going to do one more reconfigure here. We're going to go back to uh, the original plan, which is get the best possible Goobert and drop the cauldron in. As long as the cauldron is touching the potion this round, it's all good. Okay, so... Goob right here. Shield right here. Yeah, with this setup, there is not a proper way to set up the... Uh... Oh yeah, there is. Potion. Got a whole other bag I can use. That works. star this way I do so we'll just swap the location of these two bags with this all right four star cauldron weird bag man let's go So this is working all right. We're okay on stamina, and the staff is gaining uh, damage on most hits, or many hits. I'm gonna check the damage on the staff after this fight. All right. Cauldrons a bubbling. 13 to 15. All right, so some mana gem would definitely benefit us. Wow, light goober, though. Also, one of the best Goobert activators, though. It's going to be very hard to get uh, next, get to 10 mana with the magic staff eating mana with every hit. Um, We're just going to make Light Goobert this round, because Light Goobert's a certified badass. Nice. They are making a ton of armor here and poison. Looking a bit grim. Nice bag, man. Good old poison goob. Ooh, mana orb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to get mana thirst here, big time. Big time, you betcha. Bag here and there's a potion. You know, at this point, I might actually drop the shield to get uh, more more cauldron stuff. Yeah, let's get out of shield at this moment. do need something to go in this spot. There we go. Definitely over on bag space right now. Fair enough.
Not the world's best bag, but pretty cool nonetheless. Okay, this is an improvement, though still weak. Poison Potion looks okay. I guess at this point, if we run into a couple weak bags, we have like... You know, we have a chance here. I think I'm going to grab um, Hungry Blade here. Without the inventory space. We're going to point Hungry Blade at the other side of Goobert. We're doing pretty well on stamina right now. That's even worth dropping the star on the uh, Cauldron 4. Would love to upgrade a potion here. We're at 1.4 right now, which is basically where we're at. Yeah, I think we swap these now. I don't think getting a lot of stars in the cauldron is actually that important to the build. Triggering Goobert is kind of the important thing. This feels almost wasteful. I'm gonna let the poison potion buy. That's good. Get at least 20 debuffs, consume this, and cleanse 10 debuffs. Okay, let's lock that. Put this back here. Good luck to me. I think this bag is pretty jank. Fun nonetheless. Crossblades, uh. Uh. Okay. You can see we definitely turned a corner on damage with uh, uh, getting the activator for the uh, the staff. Okay, so I want this probably here. Armor potion's also good. Let's just lock that. If we get one potion upgrade per turn, that's uh, certainly not ineffective. we we'll do one roll as well. Another mana orb, not bad. I'm gonna take it. That's some pretty good spots for orb here. Okay, what does this make? Makes moon armor? What does this do? Gain 45 armor plus 20 armor for each magic item. Every 3 seconds, gain 3 mana and reflect 2 debuffs. That does sound pretty good. Do we survive to make it to this? I doubt it, but uh, let's find out. Just been kind of a weird, fun run. Missing on one star on the potion here. Closer than I thought it'd be. All right, that was just a, a funky, fun try. Let's do it again. We went double broom, and it, it definitely, definitely got weird. Definitely down for that. Having one thorns is actually super useful this early. 
Go, go, Tusk. Two dollar Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, potion runs are challenging. I don't think I played that last one particularly well, but even then, it's gonna, it's gonna be a tough, tough run on that one. Okay. Like, honestly, $2 shield is not untempting. I think for now I'm just going to grab the Lump of Coal, though. More damage on the... On the stuff here. Everything inside the Reaper bag. both these. I'm going to buy them both, then roll, and inventory space is totally going to appear. Okay, now we can get the Piggly Wiggly set up, right? Quite a nice bag this early. It is uh, definitely a temptation to possibly uh, lock this garlic, but let's uh, keep the possibilities open. Okay, well, sale garlic, yeah. A gym box looks kind of decent. As does second Amanita here. I think since we already had double pick, we'll take Amanita and roll. a little bit of HP on the pig, there's probably a better uh, thing here. Yeah, if we just give up the starting bonus on the herbs, we can get it like this. Which is overall more food synergies and max synergies for Pan. Oh no, hey, what the hey, you betcha. We got the foods. We got the piggies. runs then, huh? Shield of Valor is not untempting. We could also cash out for Dragon right now. Our legendary chance, 5%, and we got the egg. Mm. The legendary, here's we got two legendary items. That's pretty, um, pretty fantastic.
Okay, I'm gonna drop this garlic right here. I'm gonna pick up this herb. And we're gonna let it ride. Weird bag, man. Okay, here we go. Excalibur. This is definitely a bag. It's got stuff in it. I can't remember the last time I actually used Excalibur. He beat a Berserker right here? Oh, man. What is this bag? Delicious is what it is. Uh, it's been so long since I used this, in fact. I need to read the tool text. I don't even remember. Deals plus one damage for each star food. All right. On attack, use 11 mana, trigger all food. Okay, so mana orbs primo right now. Um, big time. Blueberries too. What's the stamina cost on this? It's only 0.9. So this will take us to 1.5, and we have three bananas and two herb bags right now. I mean, I think uh, I think Hungry Blade uh, looks awesome right here. Uh, I also think that this on-sale bird is pretty nutty. Okay, let's assume we're taking... Uh, this out. Well, I guess we're just going to redo the bag here. I mean, I also want to get this other pig in here because uh, why not? Why not? We haven't lost a run yet, so. And right now we can buy all three of these if we wanted to. Well, first things first, let's figure out how we're going to try to maximize this pan. Okay, at least right here, uh, all of the all of the stars are in the bag. We go here, we can bring it over one. Okay. So, banana here. Uh, we'll say Amanita. We'll go garlic. Banana. Garlic. Amanita. Banana. Well, every food that we have is currently adding a star to the uh, thing there, so that's good. There is this spot right here which feels a little bit wasted, but... With nothing to put in there, let's just do this. I mean, <laughs> we kind of have to. Okay, I'm going to roll one more here. Okay, we got a five cost there. Also, Blueberry is on deck. Okay, let's lock this. Those for two.
I feel like on this round we can take like a half measure and uh, maybe don't don't put bird in the bag and remove a garlic to get the three pigs in and then escalate even further next round. I feel like just what we have uh, in the bag as far as weapons goes is is quite strong. Like we just did this. I guess even buy the blueberries. I'm going to do it. So third Amanita is not terrible. Let's go. I think this bag wins. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, fair enough. Our first loss, and it's at the time we gain a new uh, thing there. Ooh. I am not going to turn down $5 snake. Hexblade is interesting here, too, with our current setup. What's uh, the accuracy here? 90, 90. That actually sounds pretty sick. Yeah, we're going to go Hexblade here. Uh, I guess this is good, too. Um, we gain Vampirism, which increases damage of Hungry Blade. They all sound pretty nice, but we're definitely not a poison build, so your poison steals life through vampirism, not so good. Gaining vampirism right off the bat's great for Hungry Blade. I could see this build uh, going into non-Hungry Blade, uh, another weapon style too, so... I'm gonna take Hexblade here. I think it's uh, a little weird, but fair. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Mana Orb. This one says, use 11 mana, trigger all food. I think right now is where we're gonna get out of pigs. Don't get me wrong, I love piggly wigglies, but it's time. This configure is already not bad. Only missing three stars there. We can get that down to two for sure. All right, so we're going to sacrifice one star here. Get a better bird. This is this is where we want this. This goes here. So we're sacrificing the two stars on the bottom there. That's fair. This also looks pretty incredible. Yeah, a little jank at the moment. Okay, where is the uh, where is the orb supposed to go? This is definitely not bad. Hmm. Do I want Mana Thirst or do I want Mana to go off? This actually looks best. I don't know. I can also make Poison Goob right now, which would be pretty cool. Unconvinced this is a goober build, is the truth. 
I'm gonna do one redo here. I wanna get this pan set up with a decent mono orb somewhere. I haven't played around with uh, Excalibur too much, so the uh, the build style is interesting. Go we'll start on the bottom here. Let's um go like this. I lose two stars that. Hmm. Right here's the best spot. That takes up one star, and then this also takes up one star. Let's go here. Alright. So the rest of the food spots are open. Oh, that's not hitting the Hungry Blade, though. That is... That's arguably even better. This looks pretty tight. I think we're going to go here. For starters. I think we're in the money here. Okay, so we got a, a four-star Mono Orb activation with Excalibur. Use 11 Mana. Trigger all food is the effect. I'm also not unconvinced that making Mana Thirst would be bad. Like, uh, we would gain Mana off of that with every single hit. But I think if I find a second Mana Orb, we immediately make the Hungry Blade into that. Also, if we take Hungry Blade here, we're going to lose out on... Uh, a fair amount of vampirism damage. Okay, we're not getting one banana in the bag. Yeah, cheers, Inky. We're doing great. We'll definitely be back for some more. Just wanted to play some backpack battles today. It's fair. It's a great game. Any way for me to leverage more stars out of this? Yes. Okay. Half off vampirism. Like honestly, a second hungry blade here is like not it's not crazy. I think this is going to have uh, vampiric gloves eventually. Let's just roll here. Another mana orb. Huge. Huge. Hey, uh, question is, do I care more about this garlic or the herbs going in? Um, I'm going to leave the herbs in the bag. I'm also going to unreserve this now because we're not huh, technically uh, vampirism now. Oh, hey, with this in reserve, we can uh, make mana thirst this round. Great. It's fair. Ah, <laughs> there's the gloves. There they are.
Oh yeah. That's pretty good. We're losing the three stars on Excalibur with the uh, Mana or Mana Thirst uh, dagger, but all of this stuff is getting stars the way it should. Second bird's not untempting here. Let's let it ride. Nice. Beating Berserker is pretty huge. That is also not bad. Space, space, though, is an issue. Let's roll here. All right, Blueberry's nice. Also like a new weapon for a source of vampirism. Unopposed to flute. One dollar blueberry, definitely. Put that here for now. does not need more bananas. Pineapple, though? Okay. Let's lock here. Let's let it right. And keep an eye out for another weapon, too. We definitely have room to add in, like, a Hungry Blade again. Boy, that's a lot of armor, though. Noise. Yeah, our stamina is looking great right now. Oh, Goobs, what are you doing goobing around like that? Pretty cute, bud. Pretty cute. Ooh, another mana orb, too. Okay. This is getting kind of spicy here. So the question becomes, where does the mana orb go? And what do we want to give up for it? I'll say historically, Mono Orb next to Mono Orb performs pretty well. Let's try uh, here. That'd be only three stars. It is a good three stars, to be fair. Looks pretty good. Now we're cooking.
lock in this burg because it's a good idea. We can get the uh, bird activating all his food that's activating the mana orbs. I mean, shut the front door. I think the mono orb lives here for right now, but I'm definitely willing to move uh, the bird and mono orbs around after this round. He's got a mana thirst with Tim. Oh man, that's tough, dude. Wow, there's the hangy blade. It came back. Twenty mana gains steel ten life, increased by one for each vampirism. I mean, uh, combining into another mana thirst tier is pretty sick. I don't exactly see a way to get it on the dagger. I mean, we'd have to go like this and then put the other hangry blade right here. Um, I still think that might be worth it because uh, we can have the poison activate. Speaking of which, I should be doing this because the poison activating when the stars go off is probably best. Yo, cheers, Clout. That was uh, Neko Selly that uh, put together the playlist on Spotify. I'm using a personally curated uh, playlist from mostly from Bandcamp, but they they took the time to convert that over, which was very nice. I think double monitor sounds really good. Okay, I got a little flash in the pan here. Let's see if it works out. Okay, so let's just get more of our food synergies back. Yeah, losing the same amount of food synergies and making Mana Thirst. Alright, that's pretty sick. I'm leaving that bird reserve, man. The blade, it's hangy. Alright, we're at 1.8 stamina right now. We're definitely not going to maintain 1.8 with the current setup. I don't know, maybe with the uh, this going off on the banana, though. Mm, that's how we're doing it. Here we go. health remaining. Yeah, we're taking this one to survival. Let's go. This build is weird funky, and I love it. Okay. We're gonna buy this, and I think it's time to redo the bag. Let's buy this Amanita, too. I want to get all the Amitas on Excalibur. Okay, let's roll one more. Okay, there is inventory here. Oh man, I think we can actually make Crown pop off here too. We have a crazy amount of Monogen. Maybe not. Well, if I sold the herbs right now, that would take us to three gold. We need two more gold to buy anything. 
We're going to be at 1.6 monogen. Uh, definitely seems reasonable to maybe sell uh, herbs and a banana here to pick up this four square. Yo, ever the odd one. Thanks for 45 bucks. That's right. One HP is all you need. So true. So true. Quite it. Come back, Mana Thirst. Okay, that's how it was. I'm going to try to maximize uh, Food Stars prioritizing having poison on the pan. Yo, Bapa, thanks so much for 10 months working on that year indeed. Pete's 14, sorry for missing you earlier. Thanks for uh, four months. The champion, thanks for 39. And Odd Mass, thanks for subbing with Prime. Uh, per usual, I relate to our mission notification. I do sincerely apologize. You have a terrible case of humanized myself. It is true. It is true. Also, as part of our no-frills format, no, no alerts playing in my ears. So thank you for your patience in that regard. I appreciate it. Birds are going to make the best um, fanny pack here. Okay. So we got all of our Amanitas into position here on the Excalibur. So every time we gain 11 mana, the pan hits and we apply four poison, gain a thorns, and gain stamina too. Sounds pretty good. You know, I think this is actually a little more sustainable this way. And we get one more row on this side, which gives a uh, more burb action possibility. Next, let's set up the bird, see what's going on. So that's the bird we want. All right, so I'm losing one poison synergy this way, and I think I'm okay with that. Uh, gaining mana on the Excalibur does help push its own propagating condition as well, so that's good. Okay, so let's try to get a setup over here. Uh-huh. Cool bag, man.
Okay. Some I'm debating moving uh, up here and then putting the other bird directly below. So let's have uh, two, one bird on one banana there. Now I think we got to go like this. This makes a lot more sense. We're going to need the extra speed on the bananas to persist here. All right, now what I'd like to do is get the best possible mana orb position, whatever that is. Right here would be really nice. I am definitely down with that. Yo, Evil Betty, thanks for 56 months. Broder, thanks for nine as well. Appreciate that continuation. All right, let's reserve that. Um, I'm debating reserving the crown because the crown would allow us to have invulnerability for a short period. Oh, you can control click, uh, Horns fan. Uh, there might be a hotkey. The hotkeys are displayed in the settings. I guess has a 1.5 second cooldown. We're probably not going to reach that. Okay. <laughs> oh, double mana orb themselves. Yoinks, that was painful. So that was a thorns build and that got us good. Oh yeah, we'll sell gloves here. Alright, Triple Bird, Double Mana Thirst, Excalibur. That's the build, man. Hey, I could have reached 10 right there for the crown. So, crown could activate here. It's worth noting. Woo! Spicy boy, hecky man. Actually, we want it this way. Poison's good. Let's just add more poison in. Sure. Gin lamp, huh? More banana. This doesn't fit. You know, I'll take a pocket sand here. Why not? Not bad. Hey, here's crown. We were just talking about that. Crown will be good. Woo! One health victory again. Let's go. This does, however, fit, so let's take it.
All right, so crown at 10 mana, become invulnerable for two seconds one time. Doesn't seem like a huge effect, and in the grand scheme of things, it's not. But what it does do... It can let you avoid, like, a crit or uh, just extend the combat a little bit. Since our uh, our benefit is stacking poison, the more time we have to do that, the better off we are. All right, we've got Pet Menagerie build. I'm probably going to lose this one for sure. Let's see, though. Yeah, I don't actually need to hit with my weapons to apply poisons. So maybe there's a, there's a dream here. Ah, we're going down. The squirrel stealing the buffs uh, wins out versus most other fatigue style builds. Oh man, Tim, you better but six dollar Tim. Six dollar Tim, guys, that's crazy. It's Tim for only six bucks. some more pocket sand all right um i'll just grab another blueberry sure kind of want to make the this side uh pineapple but i don't think it makes too much difference Let's just take this Piggly Wiggly in the bag and get out of here. We're turning a corner here? Almost. Pretty good versus Scale Warden. Uh, this build is definitely uh, not a meta build, but it is pretty cool. All right, sure. Last round for survival here. You know, uh, Wolpertinger right next to these three birds. That's pretty good. Is there a way to get it on all three here? Not in the way I want. Yeah, there is a way. Okay, so it had to be like this. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. It's the bird hitting the other bird too, which is nice. <laughs> Another bird, okay. So now we're getting buffs we have the least of. I'm gonna put the poison over here for right now. We're getting stamina reduction for buffs. We should be okay on stamina right now with the uh, losing a banana. That is a huge sword. Holy guacamole. It's, it's big. Bear. All right, fun bag, good result. All right, let's do a Berserker run next. I will not turn down a round one fully on sale spike shield. I'm also going to take a very short break here to stand up for a second, stretch my legs real fast, use the restroom, encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a moment for uh, another run of Backpack Battle.
All right, I'm back. Mac Marvel, thanks for 10 months. EVX, thanks so much for 81. Enjoy your lurk. You know, I'm gonna buy both of these. I'm gonna roll. We did not get any inventory space, okay? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up coal here. 2.2, that's better then. Let's actually put the um, the coal in the armor. That's not insignificant for round one. It's another eight health. Weird bag, man. I like it, though. I'd say our bag is better than theirs because we have pan. It's going to come down to blocks, though. They also have thorns, which could uh, do us a major disservice. Yikes. going to be close. I think the banana's going to win it for him. Ooh. All right, then. All right, then. Hmm. I mean, Hangy Blade start is not, it's not inefficient. This is definitely better than the pan. Just picking up uh, banana and inventory space looks pretty good, too, though. I guess whether or not we're going Hungry Blade, uh, regardless if we're going Hungry Blade or not, this would be the way to go. I'm going to transition next uh, round. Let's pick up a pocket sand here. Yo, Code Xander, they said tier 3, 59 months. One more for that 6 0. Cheers. And that's the one, Nomus. That's the one. Woo! Bless you. Okay, well, um, we hit rare here on the 20% chance, and the rare item is axe, so we're probably just going to get into axe now. Uh, certainly open to alternate builds, open to having builds that take other weapons too, but uh, I'd say in the early game at least, axe is the single best find you can get on Berserker. It's just a source of self-scaling damage that procs pretty fast. So we're going to buy a second piggy here. Uh, we're going to do one roll. Dang. I think I'm actually going to drop the blacksmith or forging hammer here. Let's sell this. Let's buy these herbs. Let's put the forging hammer in the bag. What's the dragon scale boots? Stats here. 25% chance to resist chili. Battle regenerate clinch three random debuffs. Gain empowerment and armor. Okay. Yes. But not right now. Okay, I want to have the axe and the banana inside the bag. So let's go like that. Yeah, just not going to quite work that way. A corner shield here.
Okay, well, our stamina cost is only 0.7 here, so, I mean, there is a decent argument to not worry about the banana's placement. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll let us stack our Piggly Wiggies exactly the way we want to, like this. We got there. It's cost me nothing to buy. We can always just sell it back for one, and garlic wouldn't be a bad ad. Here we go. Okay, actually, 70% chance to deal plus one damage versus inside of armor, gain eight armor, resist one debuff. I'm going to take that instead. These pan builds are really strong right now. Not unconvinced here as well. I should have got shouldn't have got Hangy Blade. Okay, let's get these boots working. And out of those two, the Definitely more important. Let's take this coal as well. Chunking through goobs here. We did it, guys. We did it. We got through the gooberts. What the hey? Blood Harvester. Star items give 100% vampirism. Attacks faster for every vampirism. Now, if we went hung Hungry Blade, this would have been uh, maybe a pick. But as is, I don't think that's going to be it. I want the second banana, but I want other stuff more. Like maybe more Piggly Wigglies? You wouldn't. Just did. You wouldn't. Boom. Okay, is there any way for us to get double axe combined this round? Round five double axe sounds neat. This could very well be our moment to get out of piggies. I hesitate saying that because we we have a pretty good pretty good setup going on with piggies right now. For I think a, about average power level. So I'd be selling two pigs for the axe, or maybe pig and herbs. Okay, I can see pig and herbs here. Uh, keeping this setup going with the two piggies, two pocket sand. Okay, well, we definitely need to have banana going right now. That's going to be as good as we're doing this round while getting double axe combined. Nice find. Even though we're going to be in stamina hell here, we do have a chance to still kill them. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, we're getting dragon scale armor crafted. This next round would be dope. A little bit tinted on the mono orb, too, because the mono orb can uh, allow us to reach a point that we can take another weapon. Like, mono thirst would be a great complement to double axe. But absolute priority here is getting the dragon scale armor built. That is the most important right now. buy this rock and then roll. Okay, more boots. I don't really think I want a second pair of boots in this build. I'm actually with getting this dragon scale armor. I'm strongly considering just dropping spike shield here. Let's redo the bag real quick. Okay, so what we'd like to have is axe inside the fanny pack and inside the bag there with, I don't know, banana in the bag too? Banana. Okay. Looks pretty good, except for the fact that now all of our spaces are weird. So with this, we could go like here and here maybe. And here. Is there any point in me selling shield here? Uh, we could go for a second uh, second set of boots. Two pairs of boots isn't too bad. If we run into any build that relies on ice, which isn't too many, uh, it's really nice. The cleansing random debuffs, gaining empowerment armor uh, during battle rage is a nice effect. I think I'm going to stop at one pair of boots. I have to sell everything off to buy the boots that I can't really fit into the bag right now. That seemed a stretch. So double axe goes up in damage every time it hits. So it's kind of like a fatigue condition in itself. Uh, we saw in good effect here that when we enter battle range, we immediately trigger another attack as well. We got a Dublin. Okay. Wow. Pineapple's not uninteresting, but I'm gonna buy inventory space here in this coal. Ooh. So Hangy Blade would take us to 1.7. Mm, I don't think so. We had a Mono Orb on hand, maybe. I think a Jenny Lamp here could be very interesting. So if we sold this in the rock, we could get Jin Lamp. Gain one Accuracy, one Thorns, or one Mana, depending on what you had the least of. I like this because it can generate luck for us, which is Accuracy, which is how we overcome the detriment of the Double Axe. We'll also point it at the axe for good measure, but there's no way we're hitting the requirements for plus 27 weapon damage. At least not right now. That'd be a long shot. With that being said, let's just do this. Get a much better uh, pig value that way. Not totally opposed to removing this. 
for uh, the garlic. Okay. Okay, they're stealing buffs with Chainwhip, but I'm not generating any buffs with this build other than the uh, the lamp. Okay, so I guess they can steal um, thorns. Just out damaged them, that's all. Dang, we really don't have the blacksmith build. It's certainly tempting here. I think I'm going to go Shaman Mask. We already have the luck generation from Gen Lamp. So, and three socketed gemstones, too. Yeah, let's go Shaman Mask. Well, there's the gem box we needed. Also, additional Piggly here. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to buy this for sure. We're also buying this for sure. Let's redo the bag with that. We've just leveled up our bag. It's gonna do this for good measure. Well, the bag looks pretty sweet. You know, there's only one thing in this bag that make me drop garlic right now. Another Piggly Wiggly. You guessed it. Ooh, Elephant Rune. On hit, chance to stun for 0.5. We're going to buy this crappy Sapphire. I'm not really interested in the gym. But it gets us to another luck threshold for Shaman Mass. We're going to get random buffs here. Elephant Rune is very good. Going to be a close one, I think. Okay, fair enough. They won off of a, a blind dodge there. Well played. Okay, most certainly grabbing Elephant Rune. Move the Sapphire over here. Unopposed to Blood Amulet. I mean, Vampirism is a way to scale here. Let's roll. Okay, Amethyst is healing reduction for their, our enemies, so that's huge. Be stamina on Chain Whip 1. I feel like a second Jin uh, kind of allows us to proc the Shaman Mask indefinitely. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it sounds interesting to say, so I'm going to go for it. I think our bag's pretty strong where we're at right now. Oh, that's a very good bag. Steel Goob with weapon gaining? Oh, man. Ooh, we're getting some stuns here on that elephant room. Let's go. 
Let's go. Badger rune? Holy guacamole. This run just got lit. Badger rune. On hit, trigger 3% faster. That's every hit. And it's gaining damage every hit. Now stamina is kind of the thing. Cool bag, man. Hmm. $3 mana orb is not uninteresting. So we're never going to be able to proc this because the Shaman Mask is eating luck as well. So that's not going to happen. But having mana does mean that we'll be uh, generating thorns and luck at a higher rate. So this seems like a really good deal. Such a good deal, in fact. I'm going to get out of one pig here. Yeah. Okay, we're at five, six, seven, eight, nine gems right now. Um, I'm considering selling another piggy here. I don't know, the income's so good. I want this gem. Uh, to combine. Let's just stay at 9 and drop a coal for a ruby. They got a lot of damage in that bag, dude. A lot of healing too, dang. Okay, this is awesome. We're currently generating luck faster than the Shaman Mask is pulling it out. That's pretty immense. You kidding right now? On sale? This is looking like a good idea right now. This also seems like a good idea right now. I guess we're looking for like stamina potion right now other than this. Or rather than this, I should say. Okay, let's get this to 10 gems. I'm going to lock these two until I have a better reason to combine. Okay, I mean, this is basically free armor. We'll go off when the uh, dragon scale armor goes off. Oh, it's at least 45. I've done goofed. Oh, we can just sell it back for three. Oh, we get the armor here. This gets to 48 armor. This does proc. Awesome. Rock is probably worth locking them to craft into the stronger potion. Oh, yeah. We're getting poisoned, that's for sure. Shaman Mask coming in clutch right now. You know, you kind of want to buy the Shield of Valor here just for... Um, just for more gem slots. 
Let's see what the moon shield recipe is. Star items give 3% block for every 12 block they gain. Gain one mana. Okay, so we're not we're not doing that. This is looking good now though. Definitely want to continue reducing down uh, enemy health where possible. Shaman Mass does not have a slot. Hmm. Uh, the Jin Lamp gives you uh, luck thorns or mana every two seconds uh, depending on what you have the least of and we have this very nice mana orb so it's almost always generating luck or thorns uh, and then we're eating the luck for random buffs with the shaman mask that is the premise of the build also I am going to buy this just for the uh, the slots here that's it the reason we now have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're starting with 12 luck. Seems good, man. All right, let's buy this and this for potentially the stone potion later. Volpertinger. Volpertinger's interesting. Topaz is also stamina uh, generation. So let's just drop that into the bag right now. Before rolling, I should be removing the gym boxes, though we were not punished for that. Here we go. Woo! Survival mode, here we go. Yeah, that's very fair. We should have the um, shield next to the armor. True, true. Ooh, this potion doesn't seem bad either. Could use this to cleanse debuffs right now. I think this is a pretty stellar moment for the crown too. Yikes, a lot of good options here. So what I like about just taking this right now, maybe even over the uh, crown, is that when we enter Battle Rage, it's going to proc the Stone Skin Potion, which is then going to cleanse 10 debuffs uh, from us. So we go from cleansing three here to cleansing 13. Let's pick this up here. Gonna lock the crown. The crown will be good, because it'll allow us to be invulnerable for two seconds. It's a really strange uh, Berserker bag, because it doesn't have a collar in it or any of the other stuff that Berserker bag would normally have here uh, to sustain Battle Rage for longer. But we are bopping. I can't believe we almost pulled through that. Okay. Weapon Saga is on hit. 20% chance to stun for 0.5. Cooldown 3 seconds. I feel like these are independent values. Though just putting it, putting on the Forging Hammer is also really good. Yeah, runestones definitely count as gemstones for sure. The armor in other sockets is not bad either, because you can resist, like, poison bombs.
Go for poison resist and more uh, stamina in the backpack. All right, I think we're taking out the this for the crown. All right, uh, good luck to me. Looks like the stuns might not be independent of each other, but it is uh, rocking it basically every three seconds. Nice. Let's check out the combat log here real quick. Stun for five seconds, elephant rune. So this is at 6.10. Yeah, okay, so it's still capped at three seconds. I wonder if putting uh, the elephant runes in separate weapons would change that evaluation. We absolutely want this armor, and this ruby looks really nice, too. Let's roll. Inventory, please. Oh, man, also really, really good right now. Okay, what's coming out of the bag right now? I dare say I might be selling a gym here. I think we're pretty much maxed on gyms. Not that they're unhelpful, but this is much better. I'm also desperate for space. What is stone armor doing? Stamina use is increased. Okay, that's a noper. Dragon skill armor is the single best one. It um, decreases total damage taken during battle rage. Okay, well... We're going to separate the elephant runes. I think they're going to work better this way. Okay, here's another rock, so this could transform the potion into a stronger potion. I'm thinking if I just get to the little inventory space, like the Shield of Valor is not, uh, not inefficient here. lock those. Well. Uh, gyms generally do more individually, uh, Mr. Merlin. These are 15% faster. Combined, they'll be 20, so we lose 10% on the stamina. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, let's roll here. Like putting the shield of valor next to both armors and the uh, the stone potion would be really really strong. Okay. Well, inventory space is a must. Let's fish for just more inventory space here. Oh yeah, what does this uh, this armor do? Okay, this one for a magic item. Oh man, that's probably the best thing we can get right now. Shield, getting shield of valor in sounds nice, but this sounds even better. Definitely willing to drop the other gym box now. Let's see how this would work. So Shield of Valor would be... Be like this. Supposed to be the best placement for Shield of Valor. Uh, it'd be, I guess, even better if boots were up here too. How do we get boots on? We move this over one. So boots. Collar. Collar. All right, so every item we have to generate sh uh, shielding is touching the Shield of Valor. Nice. We still have a four star, four star mana orb. Great. Although it's on there. Let's turn this on his side. Let's give the mana orb the benefit here. Hmm. I don't think banana's unimportant. I'd really like to have this in the bag somewhere. Let's roll again. Wow. Okay. Third elephant rune here. Count it. Let's lock this potion. That's a good use of space. Uh, all right, I'd really like the Topaz in here. I don't think stamina has been a huge problem for us. Um, it's also fair to say that uh, this is basically as efficient as the banana. Slightly less, but enough. The thing we have to get up here is boots, which maybe that's not so bad. Yeah, okay. This looks really nice. We're definitely going to proc crown. We have the increased duration and decreased damage. Uh, we're generating luck at a rate fast enough that the shaman mask is always allowed to proc. Yeah, let's do that. All right, here we go. Triple sun shield bananas. So this build I'm up against is going to just destroy my stamina. That's awesome. I like this build. Wow, I can't believe we won that. 
So, I mean, obviously randomized buffs is one of the main reasons we won that. But uh, also, uh, the Elephant Rune didn't much care for being slowed down by the stamina. Uh, basically, every time we hit, we had a chance to stun. That was cool. We also saw there that our um, stamina is not really in a, a dire place right now. a slightly weaker uh, mono orb but the mono orb is functioning in such a way that this is not going to cause an issue <laughs> I feel like we're still uh, out of space for this let's do one more roll here Armor would be monumentally beneficial for the final round. So right now we're getting 30% more block. We got 40, 40, 35. Not that much more. It's like 30 more. Okay, good luck to me. Might as well do this for stun resist. Oof. It's a really nice build they got. This, uh, this corrupted armor is very strong when stacked up like this. Yep, 24. 24 blind. All right, I'm definitely down for a pineapple here, I guess. I'm gonna look for something even higher value than that. It is the last round, after all. Interesting flute. Banana's fine. Hangy Blaze not interesting either. Okay, another another crown is really good. It's more in time. I don't think we're gonna do much better than that. Let's go. Oh boy, double light goo menagerie. That's tough. We are going to be uh, very blinded. You know, a double lamp, uh, had this not been shaman, uh, might have been possible to get through that. Either way, very nice run. GG, fun run, fun run. All right, let's do a uh, pyro run next. All right, I take a very short break before we kick this one off. Give me just a second here, and then we'll uh, head into the run.
All right, I am back. We're doing this. Uh, let's check this store out. Store one. Well, I mean, for sure, we're going to buy a Piggly Wiggly because Piggly Wiggly is going to have immediate two flame synergy. And Piggy's never as good as it is on uh, Pyromancer. There a way to do this? We got one, two, three, four. No, we're one spot shy. Unless we remove a flame to add shield in. Let's put the uh, broom in here. I'm a pretty large fan of uh, turn one shovel. Like, I don't think shovel is the the most slamming in this game, but I'm just gonna buy this shield and roll with it. I think it's gonna be our best chance to win this round. Essentially, when you make Shovel round one, you're getting money value back. It's like having two piggy banks. You can even dig up items that are worth up to three, I think. Maybe two. All right, unsurprised we lost that. We took piggy bank and we combined for Shovel. That's fine. Wow. Chili showing up shop too. That's pretty sweet. And also there's walrus tusk here to make uh, spike shield. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to sell shield back right now. We're buying chili. Every five seconds gain one heat and heal for five. Healing for five in the early game is <laughs> huge. Yeah, that's the best bag that we're going to make with the current uh, stuff that we have. I think we're going to roll the store here. I really like the gym box, too. It gets us going su super early. But uh, pigs are actually a little bit better synergy currently. Hit him with the Piggly Wiggly. Hey, man, I don't like you got more pigs than me. I don't like that. Hey. Where'd you get that second pig? Tell me. Uh, that round, 100% won by Chili Pepper. That's the one. Dang, that's kind of a monster combo this early. Bit of a wombo, if I don't say so myself. Hey, Cole's great, so we can make Torch here for Burning Torch. So, like, we even have a rock on hand to maybe upgrade this potion. Uh, this is going to guarantee get popping off. We don't have enough to actually activate the potion base. But since it's on sale, it's going to gain... Uh, it's going to gain ar armor here. 15 health bonus. Seems good. Um, let's roll here. Getting that next round. Unopposed to Molten Dagger, but I'd like to build up my speed rather than remove it. Okay. It's going to be a really tough fight to win, though. Not impossible. You know, my bag might be actually be better off having only shovel in it with the current stamina. Shovel hits for how much? Four to seven. Well, now we're on Burning Torch. That's a little bit different. Put Ruby and Shovel, sure. 
well, some really cool stuff here. Uh, a legendary at 1% chance on the bird. Woefully inefficient right now. Okay, here's second rock for making uh, the stronger armor potion. Fine. Extremely weird bag, man. Okay, let's take a look at Flame Whip here real fast. On hit, use one Thorns to gain three heat and deal eight damage. Plus eight damage, rather. Okay. The uh, Advanced Armor Potion does provide some Thorns, but it seems like a um, bit of a stretch. That's a fair statement, Nomad Kane. Uh, it's definitely a very powerful affix of the the Pyromancer. Ability to add pigs in uh, with very good immediate value. What I really want right now is something that generates armor for me. That'd be that'd be awesome. My pickles, they got the wiggles. I'll take another um, chili pepper here. I'll sacrifice one pig synergy for that. Actually, do I even need to? That's the one. Seven of eight star. All right, calm down with that. Let's take the stamina potion here and the bag space. Boom, get roasted, the bill. They have a lot of empty inventory space there. Wow, man. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be a little bit perturbed if I lost to this build. With, uh... How much do they have here? 4, 8, 10, 13 open inventory spaces. Okay. This is definitely a nice increase to our damage. I think at the moment, just adding in... Uh, space here is good. Okay, we're going to take the stand potion. Uh, we're going to stand both of these up on the armor potion. Okay. I'm kind of interested in adding Phoenix in here. It's not it's not the worst idea. We do, we're already gaining multiple heat sources off of chili. We have a burning coal, a burning torch.
tough choice. I think the big problem with Phoenix right now is simply space. Like, how do we even bother to fit that in? We have to drop a bunch of heat or pigs? Dropping the pigs to make room for Phoenix is not the worst idea I've ever had. does hurt us for uh, 10 health every two and a half seconds. I'm going to lock this. experience that, I kind of want to put the Stam Potion on top here. Ooh, Lightsaber? That's interesting. One thing we can say for Lightsaber right now is it's uh, a big damage increase. Okay, as it stands... There's no room for little piggly wigglies. Unless we drop heat. We'll drop our lower uh, starting HP. That's tough. Alright, sell rock here and then roll this. There's goob for chili goob. I think what we're going to do is get Chili Goob made this round, and probably buy this potion as well. Okay, piggies are out now. It's been nice, piggies. $4 helmet, not untempting either. here with, uh, let's just say double chili on this side. Sounds cool. Okay, this is great, except for there's nowhere to put the potions. So we're going to put the phoenix in, or we're going to put the potion stack in, I guess is the next question. Uh, seeing this right here is making me less want to buy this health potion. Seems like there might be a compromise here. This is a compromise. Hmm. 
Yeah, at this point, the stamina potion is not needed if I drop the uh, the other torch. That is fair. I think I was going to go like this this turn. After Chili Goob is made, we have uh, more options for sure. Pretty good bag. Nice goob. Yeah, we got some damage here, man. Uh, it definitely feels like we go friendly fire and then go into heat generation with the uh, the Phoenix, almost certain. Do have a lot of uh, fire items for the uh, Dark Lantern right now too. I think that Firebender is the cleanest route on the current composition. Oh man, that's a pretty nasty flute too. Put that in here for right now. We're gonna be reconfiguring the bag. With how much stuff we have in here, I'm not gonna buy the flute though. It is tempting. Four dollar armor? Gotta be goobin' kidding me, man. Okay, this is actually quite good right now. Had to fix Firebender, but what this allows is the health potions will proc simultaneously, I believe, uh, to both go on the armor potion. Maybe they don't uh, happen simultaneously. Hmm. All right. Ideally, this guy would be in the middle of everything. Fire. I'm gonna sell this rock. Yeah, I mean, let's lock this and then roll it. Draconic Orb does sound good. Also, making another Burning Coal, that's more chances for heat gain. Sounds nifty. Actually, at this second, uh, we don't have any mana generation, so he can't even really proc. There's not really a point to doing it that way. That's tough. What I really kind of want is to have the shovel going this way. And we can make that happen right now. So let's work on that. Hmm. Now we're gonna put this amethyst. I'm gonna sell this and this to pick up a burning coal. Draconic Orb makes one of the best uh, Goobert activators. Let's put Chili here for right now, and then we'll load the Draconic Orb over on Goobert after this round. Seems aight. I'm gonna unlock this, too. Mmm. I gotta find Mana Resource here. Let's just lock the Orb. Definitely like an armor-style strategy looks pretty tempting there, but... I don't think we're making it if we do that.
Okay, the health potions did proc simultaneously. That's good. Okay, what is Sun Armor doing? It does use heat, which is a little counterintuitive with the Phoenix, but not necessarily bad. I'm going to let the Holy Armor go. Okay, there's that. Now, where is our source of mana generation? Okay, I got it. I got to lock that. Three bucks? Okay. Oh, they got the chilies over there. Pyromancer pan build now currently a thing, huh? Makes sense. Food builds are very powerful. Ooh, 26 luck. 30 regeneration. Sick. I like that build, man. I like the cut of your jib. This is one piece for the uh, another stone potion. We keep that. Not convinced on a second one of these. Another chili doesn't sound bad. More guaranteed heat generation. Let's in fact um, sell here. I could take that back. I'd sell the ruby in a fire instead of the stone to keep the stone can potion active or chance active. Still searching for a mana source right now of any kind. Well, this is uh, this is a mana source technically. It's not consistent enough. You like mana orb or just straight up blueberries is fine. Nice burning sword there in sun armor. Yeah, they have the mono orbs. They're just gaining heat way faster than we are. Okay, though, I think. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Close one. Sun armor held out there. Hey, there's a blueberry. Where you been? Alright, crown's not going to happen. Boy, this is tough. Like, where's my where's my weapons at? I guess Molten Spear is maybe, uh, maybe a thing we do. Gotta get a shovel at some point here. Like, if we don't improve our weapons, we're totally done. So, let's just buy something. That is a lot of damage and armor on Steel Goob there. Dang. Yeah, and this one, since we're lacking the uh, consistent activator for friendly fire, there it is, by the way. That's the one. Since we're lacking the consistent activator, it feels like... Just as our build's starting to get good with heat, it, uh, it falls off again. That's fair.
Gotta be a better way to do this now. I think this guy doesn't even need to be in the fire pit, technically. Okay, at least we get the Molten active there. Definitely not my best friendly fire build ever. This has been a really weird one. Let's just roll roll with this. I don't think we're going to improve that too much. We can also improve this uh, spear by quite a bit by just adding fires in. It's fair. You know what? That is totally fair. Totally fair. Let's, uh, let's do another pyro run here. That run had a promising start. It just kind of fell off. That'll happen. $4 hammer. Dang. We'll go for broom here. We'll buy rock as well and then roll it up. Cool. Garlic sounds reasonable. I'm gonna sell the rock here for a flame because it's five more HP. pretty big fan of grabbing some early herbs. I think this is just like a reasonable add. Two regenerations, not nothing. Fight goes on 16 seconds, that's 32 healing. Alright, banana's huge here. Honestly, Piggly's looking really good. Okay. I think we are selling back the herbs to pick up the... Uh... Oh man, another coal too? Molten Dagger looks interesting here as well. Hmm just keeps coming. We put this here and this here. The pickles could go right there. I think we're going to lock here and just sell rock for that and we'll put the herbs here inside of the the flame hmm oh that also does start a battle okay So it's garlic here or healing herbs. I say healing herbs has a more direct effect uh, at this early point. 
and we've maximized our flames inside there at the pig. We have a lot of HP. I guess now the decision is, do we want to make Molten Dagger this round or next round? The downside of Molten Dagger is that it guarantees that you're going to be using heat with every attack, but then it gains permanent damage on that attack, so you very quickly get a weapon that does a lot of damage. I'm almost tempted to drop the broom here and the garlic for for it. Broom and herbs. Yeah, let's get this going right now. I'm going to drop the herbs even. It makes sense spatially here as well, as we're able to get... the burning coal made and the synergy here. Bop that noggin, bop it. Okay, Molten Dagger in the house. Our stamina right now, 0. 0.7. You know, I think buying uh, Whetstone and Herbs is kind of interesting because it improves the setup we currently have and it gives us our Herbs back. Uh, I'm likely going to buy Inventory Space and roll this. Even the armor is quite substantial. Yo, what's good, Thrall? I'm kind of liking buying the four square and the herbs and locking the armor. The difficulty is that this does not make the sun armor, the holy armor does. What I'm liking about the armor right now is that we have a weapon source that generates damage by itself for heat. We have a chance for heat on hit of every weapon with the, um, the coal. So the longer the fight goes on, the better our damage is. And for that, the armor seems pretty nice. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy here and go here. And I'm going to lock this. And I might not buy this, but I'd, I'd like to keep the idea open. We have space for it. Wouldn't be a bad concession to make on a round and just sell back later. Whoa. 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 I don't have the Draconic Orb yet. What uh, what rarity is Draconic Orb? I think it's epic. 15% chance right now. Boy, hounds. All right, Magic Staff at worst is inoffensive on the cost. We're going to unreserve this now. If we get into Fire Staff later, that's great. And uh, if not, just having this weapon will be a complement to our build. Yeah, Staff of Fire is very strong. Agreed. Okay, thanks for the clarification of Epic Rarity for Draconic Orb. I believe that. Only had one run with Fire Staff, and it was awesome. Excited about that.
Oh, that dagger miss. Okay. Uh, we want to speed up dagger for certain. And honestly, probably the torch as well. We don't have uh, another weapon right now. I guess that's it. Maybe just a uh, dagger here. Here we go. Chili Goob sounds nice. Chili Goob's second Molten Dagger. If I sell my soul, can I get that? Not even unopposed right now to dropping Torch for the second Molten Dagger, running Staff, Double Dagger. To simplify a few things. Yo, Grey Wolf Claw, thanks for 22 months. Two more for two years. Thanks so much. Well, let's reconfigure the bag for Goob right now, and then we'll figure out the rest. Yeah, this is all looking good and well. Uh, I think we're just going to drop Chili in here. All right, Piggy, you're gone. It was fun. You know what? Let's, let's make this happen right now. We're a couple uh, heat source generations away from a monster build. Might even buy this flame here. I guess we might as well. Blueberry is not intending either because it's good as a route with the friendly fire if we want to go for more heat generation, which seems like it'd be quite good. One thing's for certain right now we got the damage. Okay, I think it's also fair to say that currently our best use of heat is definitely hitting with daggers. Big time. What time on Blueberry? 3.5? Hmm. Let's look at the space on the left hand side. It feels like we could shift goob um, a little different and get these flames inside of the fire pit instead. How would that look? That would look like.
that would look like that. It looked pretty darn good. Yo, Draconic Orb in the house. Okay, now we're going to be able to make the uh, staff. Staff reads. On attack, use two mana and two heat to gain plus five damage. Okay. We're in no rush to make this, and we may very well be... Even waiting for a mana source to do so. Now this will still be fine because we get a, a class item. We can take one of the ones that just gives us base heat, and then we have enough to work with, or base mana to work with. Okay. We'll let this one ride. I think our bag's pretty strong where we're at. Oh, burning Sword got us, no surprise. Why? Why you gotta be on sale, dude? This is gonna sound really weird, but I think we're getting out of uh, Magic Staff right now. Like, we had, we were dreaming of this fire staff, and it's really good, but we already have two things that are taking heat, and we are taking something on sale that also is competing for mono. Scale Warden gives five heat and mana at the start. That's kind of tempting, so we're going to get guaranteed fire staff improvement. I know, Scale Warden is arguably very correct here. Little Feller's on sale, though. Okay, that means we are going out of Magic Staff right now. Well... Yeah. Ripsaw Blade is pretty legit here. Maybe even drop Torch and take uh, Ripsaw right now. Draconic Orb is definitely going in here too uh, as a activator for Goobert. One thing I like about the Ripsaw as well is we can put multiple coals in it, so it can be a pretty good heat generator. Alright, this is weird and spicy, and I like it. Cooldown's 1.8 here, so both of the coals go in the Ripsaw now. Chronicord makes a great activator for Goobert. Let's roll here, and we'll figure out the rest here in a second. Oh, man. The Ragubinans? Sunshield feel like. No, no heat generation on that. Okay. Still looking for mana generation. This is pretty sweet. have the one weapon makes a lot more sense to have these here Okay, space is uh, interesting right now.
Okay. So the only improvement here would get the uh, another fire over here for the banana. I think we just need more space to make that happen. We do have three, these three fire items, which could be uh, in here. Maybe there is a way to do this. We also don't technically need the banana at this moment, and uh, getting these fire synergies isn't bad. 10% faster is only good if we have uh, enough mana to use this. We're already too slow, so this will actually function the same except better because we're getting more blueberry synergies. Here we go. Stabby time. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Um, Hangy Blade Mana Orb makes Mana Thirst, which does one mana for every hit. So that is our propagation condition for Friendly Fire. I think we're actually going to take Ripsaw out of the bag for one uh, one round to do this. Because doing it this way makes it fit. I'm actually going to drop the garlic now, too. Okay. Weird bag, man. Could get one more fire synergy on this guy if we moved over, but I think until we have the uh, monitors made, that's kind of negligible. Okay, but stop missing, though. Thanks. Ooh, fair enough. Uh, in the wardrobe, you can activate the chibi-style uh, sparks. Okay, now every single hit of this weapon, we're getting... Gain one mana. We're going to place this here. How fast is 1.4? Or we should put a coal in that one then. A Draconic Orb is a way better activator here. the same amount of activations. Are we missing any fire synergies here? We are potentially missing one on this spot, so we're gonna go like this. I think this build's gonna get pretty spicy now that we have Mana Thirst. I think we're in a we're in a good spot here. Another blueberry ain't gonna be wrong. Another coal ain't gonna be wrong either. Light it up. 
sure. Okay, this steals life based on vampirism. You know, I suppose with all the melee weapons we have, the, this blood amulet is kind of a, a safe bet. Some chunkage. That's some chunkage. I'm going to take this and it's healing every hit. Oh. Okay. There's also increased speed there. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna get both these next round. This is kind of promising. I think vampiric gloves in between the daggers could be huge. I think Ripsaw is countering in a stuff. We don't want to get another Hangy here or another Monothirst. Well, the Hungry Blade does benefit from Vampirism. We don't have any regeneration source right now. I guess at 40 reach we get 15, but we're eating up heat uh, essentially as fast as we create it or slightly slower. Okay. It's not bad. We lost two stars there, but we are creating the vampiric gloves this round. Yo, Eclipse, thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that two years. Mm, yeah, we're done here. A very nice bag. This uh, dagger and punch build's really good. It's a great one. Chili's pretty nice. I mean, it works with heat and it gives us heat. Brass knuckles are definitely good. This is not untempting, because if we run into anything with shields, we're going to get stamina locked pretty fast. I'm actually going to buy this. That is a lot of armor. Holy guacamole. Definitely thinking we might not get through this one, but maybe we are gaining damage with every hit. Oh no. Fatigue damage is real. Oh, 
Okay. Not opposed to that. Really funky build. I like this one. That's fair. Scale Warden Goob got us. Fun enough build. Pretty, uh, pretty, say, par for the course for the other runs that I've done. Uh, Molten Dagger Spam. They just don't quite keep up with the other source of damage. Now that, if it had a Burning Sword in the middle of the Burning Daggers, then it's very good. I'd say Scale Warden's like uh, midline for me for builds. Uh, it's definitely good to go into if you don't have a focus um, and is pretty clean route having a above average build. But a lot of builds in the late game beat uh, Scale Warden. GG. It was a decent generalist build. We kind of, uh, uh, well, we didn't lose much. All right, y'all, that's going to conclude it for me today. Uh, thank you all for the great time. Wonderful company. Awesome conversation. Had a great time with these few hours of backpack battles. We'll be back and at it almost certainly tomorrow in the afternoon. Uh, thank you all for a great way, great way to end my evening. Uh, appreciate all the questions, comments, conversation, and everything else. Uh, you're all awesome. Be back uh, tomorrow for some more fun. Until then. <laughs>